Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial brought to you by Aroha Media. In this tutorial, we will create a basic functioning arithmetic calculator using flash drawing tools like input and output text fields, buttons and lots of action script. This simple calculator will perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. To get started, Take a new flash file with ActionScript 3.0. Name the very first layer as object. We will need two input text fields. To label them, take a static text firstly on stage and type input1. And now take an input text box in front of this text. This will be the first box to enter the first figure to be calculated. From properties panel, keep its behavior to single line and click on the option for show border around text. So, to view the border as an input box. Now, we need to choose the embedding characters. So, click on embed and choose only two options, numerals for numbers and punctuation for decimal points. Set the maximum characters to 999. Also give it an instance name as input1 underscore txt to use in action script. Similarly, we will need a second input box. So, hold down the Alt key and drag the above text and text box downwards to duplicate it as seen in the video. Now, rename this text to input2 and rename the instance name of input text field to input2 underscore txt. Rest all the properties will remain the same for this input box. So, this is done. Now, we need an output box to view the calculated figure. So again, Duplicate the above text and text box. Rename this new text box label to output. Select this text box. Change this type to dynamic text and also modify the instance name to output underscore txt. For this too, the same character embedding should be used. So, these are the basic input and output text box fields required. Now we move to the buttons to do the arithmetic calculations. So, let's get them too. Go to Windows, Components, or simply press Ctrl plus F7. In the User Interface options here, we have ready-made buttons available. Click and drag one button on stage. We don't need such a big button for calculator signs. So let's resize it from the properties panel. Set its width to 35 and let the height to 22. Open the component inspector and change its level to plus sign. Also name its instance as add underscore btn from the properties panel. Here we are ready with the plus button. Similarly, we need three more buttons besides this. So again hold the Alt key to duplicate this button. Place it exactly besides the previous one. Change the label for this to minus sign and also rename the instance name to sub underscore btn. Make one more copy of the button. Now this is supposed to be a multiplication button. Label name to star sign which represents multiplication. So rename the instance name to multi underscore btn and next duplication is for the division button. For this, rename the label to slash and the instance name to div underscore btn that is div underscore btn. So finally, we are ready with all the design elements for the basic arithmetic calculator along with their instance names. You can modify its look and feel as per your choice.
Now we move to the action script part. Before this, let's check the file we have worked on till now. Press Ctrl plus Enter to publish the SWF. We are able to enter the values in the input boxes. Just the operations are not working because our action script is not done yet. So, let's start. Add a new layer of actions and press F9 to get the action panel. First thing we need to do is define the global variables. Global variables are the variables which can be used a number of times in coding. Those are defined outside the function. First, num1 variable is to store the entered value in the first input text box. Similarly, num2 variable is taken to store the entered value in the second input text box. And the third, result variable to view the result in the output text box. Every time on addition, subtraction, multiplication and division function, input 1 and input 2 values are captured and then processed as per the assigned function. For all of these, let's give a common function named capture. No data types will be applied to it. In this, assign input 1 values to num1 variable Let's taste the movie for the addition function. Put any values in both input boxes and then click on the add button. We get the proper calculated result in the output box. So, we can say we are done for additional scripting. Similarly, let's do it for the rest three buttons as well. Function for the subtraction part is also the same. In this, the capture function is called to capture the values from the input text boxes. Just the difference is applied in the result part that is num1 minus num2 and the output text box is applied the result value. Similarly, we work on the multiplication function. The capture function is called here. Num1 and num2 multiplication is stored in the result variable and this result value is assigned to the output text field. A similar function is added for division. Just the result value will be actual division of num1 and num2. This result string value is assigned to the output text. Here, all the function part is done. Earlier, we have already assigned the above addition function to the add button below. Similarly, we called on the subtraction function on sub underscore btn, that is, the subtraction button. Also called the multiplication function on multi underscore btn, that is, multiplication button, and the division function on div underscore btn, that is, division button. So, it's time to test the movie now. Press Ctrl plus Enter to export the SWF. 
let's insert 144 into input 1 and 12 in input 2. Now, first press the add button. We get a proper result of 144 plus 12 in the output. At the same time, click on the minus button and we again get a proper result of 144 minus 12. Now click on the multiplication button and see. Again we get the correct result of input 1 into input 2. Now click on the last divide button. Again it shows the exact result of input 1 divided by input 2. This is how we created a simple but perfect arithmetic calculator in Flash using ActionScript 3.0. As mentioned before, you can have your own look and feel to this. You can experiment with the design. Aroha Media is glad to get you this useful video tutorial. Thanks for watching.